In this video, I'm going to be comparing two different online platforms, Kajabi and Teachable. And I'm going to be looking at the pros and cons of both and trying to make an informed decision which one would be right for you if you're thinking about starting an online business or if you already have started an online business and you're testing out a bunch of different platforms. So I'm just going to jump on over into my desktop and compare these two online platforms. So here I am on teachable.com uh, or you could just Google Teachable or just type in teachable.com. Let's have a look at some of the features that it offers. So it offers online courses, coaching, digital downloads, Teachable Pay, which is really good. I'll come on to that in, in a second. And it's, it's really important to actually understand where these platforms came from. So Teachable has an is always a course focused platform. So it's been designing courses, it lets you host your courses and it's really focused around the delivery of an online course. Um, but now obviously we see uh, courses, coaching and digital downloads. If you wanted to build a business around courseware, that's great. You can actually sell quite a, uh, a lot through courses. But if you wanted more, if you wanted to have your marketing, your email systems, uh, your checkouts and everything um, more, then actually we'll look at the Kajabi, uh, what Kajabi offers. But if we're just focused on what uh, this platform offers um, online courses, digital downloads and coaching products. Basically, if I scroll down, um, it's going to tell us like how people pay. One thing I love about Teachable is it is set up for taxes. So depending on where you are from in the world, um, estimated taxes, it does give you that option. Now, watch this space because currently Kajabi is um, actually increasing what they can do in the Kajabi pay, but Teachable pay has been um, offering taxes and um, Google Pay and Apple Pay for quite some time now. So I think the the way that Teachable charge, I think it's a little bit ahead of Kajabi. But like I say, watch this space because Kajabi Pay is coming out. Uh, Award-winning support. Uh, they both have some great uh, live chat support and email support. But this is what I want to focus in on. It's the anti all-in-one. So it basically goes against the grain of what Kajabi goes for, as I'll show you in a second. So this is basically going for you pay once you pay for a plan and then you can get whatever plugins you want so it is really pick and choose how to build your business model so you've just got to keep that in the back of your mind when you're thinking about prices don't just look at the one price have a look at everything you wanted to build uh, into teachable and then you've got to really go from there so let's let, let's have a look at what kajabi is so teachable is the anti all-in-one Let's have a look at Kajabi. Kajabi is the all-in-one. So it really goes for um, everything all in one platform. So if you wanted just to pay once and have everything, like I will show you in a sec, this is the one for you. Um, all the tools in one place, no need to be tech savvy. It is drag and drop, so is Teachable. 0% um, revenue fees on everything across the board with Kajabi. Now this is huge. If you are thinking about, right, I need to know my budget. I need to know how much I'm paying uh, on a monthly installment. Uh, Kajabi will just say here is your monthly price and it's going to stay at that price 0% revenue fees whereas Teachable you might have some hidden fees on plugins and you might have some hidden revenue fees as well so I will come on to that but no hassle no uh, money back guarantee and again they all have some AI plugins these days everyone is uh, banging on about AI but in order to grow and manage uh, your online business Kajabi basically prides itself on what you get you can have online courses, coaching, podcasts, membership, communities. So it, it is really that all-in-one. <clears throat> Manage payments, contacts, analytics, and then grow your websites, your pages, your emails, your funnels, and your mobile app. Um, Teachable actually call their online course a school, and it's really focused around that community, that school. But Kajabi actually focus around a business. So you have actually got a, a website, a landing page, uh, some funnels, some email follow-up, uh, contacts in there. So it is actually an all-in-one. So it all depends what you want as an online business owner, whether you want to just build it as you go or whether you want to go for Kajabi. Have a think about that. So let's look at the pricing. So this is the pricing for Teachable. Um, both of them have a 14-day free trial and both really offer a monthly and an annual. So with the annual, you save 33%. Kajabi with an annual you save 20% but if you just have a look the basic you can actually see you can get started for 39 a month or let's let's start on monthly 59 a month but this is the thing to look out for here yes you can start for 59 a month but here it's a 5% transaction fee on everything you sell 
So just have a think like how much you're going to be selling and how much you can afford to, to give up to the platform. Here, Kajabi will have, it starts with 0% transaction fee. It starts 149, 199, 399. So it's a lot, uh, lot more expensive um, than Teachable. If we go back to Teachable, 59 a month and 159 a month. Let's go for the, uh, the monthly pricing there. You can actually get a, a business, which is 665 a month. So depending on how many admin users you want. But how, let's have a look, see what this involves. So uh, five published courses, uh, integrated email marketing, coupons. So it's integrated email marketing, coupons and order bumps, custom domains, live coaching, um, challenges and admin users. So it all depends what you want from the platform. Um, £159 a month, you just get a little bit more. But if you look at the Kajabi, you're going to get three products, three funnels, unlimited landing pages, which is massive, unlimited marketing, marketing emails. So both courses actually give you unlimited video, it's especially good if you're going to actually host courses. Uh, but Kajabi, they're just looking at that, that wider piece. So if you have a look at the growth plan here, you have affiliate marketing, 24 seven chat support, which is massive. In all honesty, I haven't ever come across a chat support function that beats Kajabi. This is, this is hands down the best support function. Um, advanced automations and the ability to move the branding. So on both products, you can actually have the ability to remove uh, the branding. But it's entirely up to you what you uh, want to start with. But I would actually dig a little bit deeper and let's have a look at the reviews on uh, Trustpilot. So I always check out Trustpilot reviews and Teachable. Here you've actually got 243 reviews, so not as many as Kajabi. Kajabi has over a thousand reviews, but here you've got 2.8 star rating. So this is a red flag for me. I would always have a look and uh, read through some of these um, some of these reviews just to see what's going on with why they have such a low rating. And then Kajabi uh, it has a 4.6, which is classed as excellent, nearly 2000 reviews. Again, I would have a read through of these. So this is obviously um, an unbiased review, Teachable versus Kajabi. I would always check that out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump over onto into my Kajabi account because obviously you might have guessed it by now. I am a Kajabi user. I have been for the last five years. I think it's the best platform for an online business um, for the wider piece. If you're just thinking of an online school or an online course, maybe Teachable is right for you. But if you're thinking about the wider piece, how to market it, how to grow and scale, um, and how just to pay one fee for the entire month, then Kajabi might be for you. I'm just going to show you here. I've gone into uh, my products and gone into courses because I have heard some people say that the, the customization of Teachable is not that great, but I'm just going to show you here. This is my Kajabi Unbox course. So it's a mini course that I offer if anyone signs up through uh, my link. More on that towards the end of this video. But if I just wanted to have a look at how this presents, this is actually quite a nice user interface. This is Kajabi Unboxed. I've got a few, uh, few modules and lessons in here. You literally click on each one. It tells you how far you want you are on the course. Click into each lesson and then it just plays the video. You've got a little bit of a um, little bit of a blur down, down below. And then you can just click through, watch each video and then progress through um, from the next video. So that's actually quite a nice uh, display. If you wanted to actually edit any of these, you go into the builder and then you can actually upload a new video. You can actually edit. This is the back end of the course. So it's quite a nice layout. But what I want to try and do is show you if you go into customize, it gives you a few more options. You can install a template that then populates across your entire course. So you can build out one course in one template and then just apply another template onto that course and it would look completely different. So if I have a look at some of these templates, then this is how my Kajabi Unboxed would look using the Premier template, which is the one I've just showed you. But if I used a Momentum one, it would look completely different again to the Gamify Lite. And you just have a look down here and you can literally just click on one of these and then it would just populate across. So if I just preview this template, this would be my Kajabi Unbox course. Now you might have to change a few things in the back end to actually make this look a bit better. But each time you go into each lesson, you have a slightly bigger um, view and with, with slightly different um, commentary under, under the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cancel that. I'm going to show you how I customize this Premier product, which is our, the one that I've selected. As you go into here, you have a few drop downs here. So if you followed 
any of my training on how to um, design different landing pages or home pages is very similar. So it, we're in the product here at the moment. Uh, we have a header, a search bar, hero, a welcome body. Into the welcome body, we, we could even show uh, a video in here. Uh, so if I go show welcome body, we could actually upload a video like a welcome video. Um, this is basically navigating through here. We can edit the product syllabus, which is all of these through here. And then we could the product sidebar, which is this little template here. And it just shows them the progress bar and then any instructor things here. If you wanted to add any more to the sidebar, you could actually put in uh, another image or a cross sell. If you have other courses to, to promote, you can actually put that in here. But this is just um, a bit of an idea of how to customize each theme. So you get a template and then you can customize it after you've built the actual course. And then you can go into each post and the post is going to look slightly different. And then this is how you edit the post. So you can you can uh, go, go through the sidebar again. So the post player, you can choose the different colors. You can actually click on anything in here. That's the call to action button. Uh, you can change any of these. Um, so yeah, you, you can just go through like a post sidebar again. You can add content. Uh, you can add downloadables. So if you wanted to um, add a downloadable, you can post downloadables. You can have uh, the slides. You can have audio. You can have video download. It's entirely up to you how you want to customize this layout. And you can just hit preview anytime you want to see this and just see how this lays out in your customer um, customer course. So hopefully that makes some sense to you and has a bit of a comparison between the two. Teachable is focused really on the courses. Uh, it does have some good payment structures, but it is really the, the anti all in one. So if you just want to pick and choose what you want, just be careful of the transaction fees and the cost for all those plugins. Make sure you do your maths, have a look, see how much that is going to cost you all in one. Then the Kajabi, that is for all in one and it's got everything baked into it, including the emails, the courses, the memberships, the communities, the payment processes and, and Kajabi Pay is coming out depending on where the, uh, when you watch this video, it's coming out very soon. So you're going to be able to do the Teachable Pay um, exactly the same as the Kajabi Pay. So it's entirely up to you what you want in terms of your platform, what functionalities you want when you are either just growing a products business like a, a digital products business or a more complete online package. And I can get you actually an extended 30 day trial. If you want to test out Kajabi for free, I can get you double the extended free trial uh, available to the public by using my link. I am an affiliate. This is an affiliate link. You can head over to timpeatman.com forward slash Kajabi. And all it means is part of your payment will come back to me in support of this channel if you continue to be a paying member of Kajabi. If you try it out and don't like it, that's totally fine. But if you try it out and love it like I do, then you can actually use this to build your entire online business. And as a thank you for signing up using my link, I'm going to grant you immediate access to my course that I've just displayed here. It's called Kajabi Unboxed. And it actually walks and talks you through what to do first, second, third, fourth, and fifth in order to set your Kajabi account up in the right way to scale. And after that free trial, those 30 days, if you continue to be a paying customer, I'm going to grant you a second course. It's called my Kajabi sales page templates. All you need to do is go into that course. I'm going to show you how to download a theme and upload it into your sales pages. So you can just click and drag and go with my sales pages that I use for this business for all of your sales pages and landing pages as a thank you from me. So that's it. Let me know in the comments if you are using Kajabi or Teachable, what you like about it, what you didn't like about it. I will be making more of these videos in the future and I look forward to seeing you again on another one soon.